So this is my first time reviewing a shoe from the Swiss brand on. I've tried on some of their shoes in the past, but they just didn't seem to have enough cushioning for my preference. And to be honest, they just seemed kind of weird. But when I saw the On Cloud Stratus 2, it grabbed my attention. So I put my feet in a pair, and after a few runs, I'm ready to give you my first impressions as well as some comparisons. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the specs of the shoe. It has 36 millimeters in the heel, 28 in the forefoot, with an eight millimeter heel to toe drop. This shoe comes in at 10.4 ounces and a men's size nine. And I put the shoe in the cushioned everyday trainer category. All right, so now let's talk about the fit of the shoe. So the length I thought was just about right. I had about a thumbs width at the end, but the rest of the shoe just seemed really spacious. I felt like there's a lot of volume in the shoe. And for somebody like me that has a slightly narrower foot, I thought that there was just too much room in here, maybe a tad too wide even, and I just had to play around with their weird lacing system a lot. All right, now let's go over the what's new shoe overview portion. So the upper gets simpler with less overlays and has a light engineered mesh, as well as a redesigned midfoot band that attaches to the laces. It also has a newly designed heel counter. The midsole gets a redesign as well. It retains the dual layer cloud tech, which are essentially just the hollow cutouts through the midsole, and uses their lighter and softer Helion foam. Paired with that is their speed board, which is essentially a plastic plate to help with stability and give you some pop during toe off. The outsole is a mix of exposed foam and cloud tech rubber. All right, let's talk about my first few runs in the shoe and what I thought about the ride of it. So the first impressions were not very great of the shoe. I ran in it a day after a hard workout and my legs were pretty dead. And I just really wanted a high cushion, soft shoe. And unfortunately, when I started running in this, that is not quite what I got. I thought that it felt pretty firm and kind of clunky. So this kind of put a bad taste in my mouth, but luckily, I gave the shoe another shot and tried it out in a couple more runs with fresher legs. So I found that it felt a lot better when I was going at quicker paces, not quite like workout paces, but just kind of those you're on your everyday run feeling good or even some kind of slower, maybe marathon pace tempo runs. That's why I noticed I was landing more on my forefoot and got more protection up there, but still a nice bounce. I think that this shoe feels pretty smooth if you land on your mid to forefoot, but if you're a heavy heel striker, I think that it tends to feel a little firm back there. I found that it just felt a lot smoother when you landed on your mid to forefoot, and I found that the heel did soften up a little after a few runs, but it still seemed a little bit harsher to me. And talking about the midsole, that Helion foam is definitely not a super foam. It's not super bouncy, it's not super light, it's just kind of a more responsive foam. As for the upper, it was pretty minimal with a little bit of padding, but I just thought like it didn't fit my foot very well, like I mentioned, and that I just constantly was playing around with the laces each run. All right, I'm gonna be comparing a few shoes to the On Cloud Stratus 2. The first shoe is the Hoka Clifton 8. So these shoes are both high cushion trainers, but the cushioning is pretty different. The On Cloud Stratus 2 is definitely a lot firmer, while the Clifton 8 is a lot softer and spongier. I definitely liked the upper of the Clifton 8 better as well. And personally, I think I'd choose the Clifton 8 for most runs, especially those recovery and speed days, while this might be better for those kind of more up-tempo paces. So the next shoe I'm comparing it to is the Glide Ride 2 from ASICS. So these two shoes actually have quite a bit in common. So they both have double decker foams and a plastic plate in there. But I thought that the On Cloud Stratus 2 give you a little better road feel while there was just so much cushion under the forefoot of the Glide Ride 2 that you just felt more of the midsole. But honestly, between these two shoes, I think that they're very similar and that it will just kind of depend on what your preference in the ride of the shoe is. So a shoe that I recently just got is the Endorphin Shift 2 from Saucony, and I thought that these would be two good shoes to compare. 
They're both in the high cushion trainer category, and I think they have a decent amount of similarities. So between the two, the upper on the Endorphin Shift 2 is a lot more plush, but they do both have that external heel counter to add some extra stability. For the midsoles, the Endorphin Shift 2 is definitely a lot more rockered thanks to that speed roll geometry, but they both have foams that are going to be on that firmer side compared to some of that softer bouncy foam we're seeing in other shoes nowadays. So the Cloud Stratus 2 from On is one of their most cushioned shoes, and I really enjoyed how unique the ride of this shoe is, but I think I might have issues with this upper. I definitely need to put it through different types of runs and put more mileage on it, but I'll definitely let you know in my full review. Subscribe so you don't miss that or any of my running shoe news and reviews videos. And as always, keep on running.